Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is episode 6. I can't believe I'm 6. And this is my personal go-to glute workout. So this couples quite well with the first episode which was frequency so when I went into more detail about stretchers, stretchers, activators and pumpers so obviously we went through them, stretchers you've got things like sumo deadlifts, lunges, activators, your hip thrust, your cable kickbacks and then pumpers you know any sort of band work and things like that so I thought I'd actually put them into a session for you. Okay. I thought I'd put them into a session for you and this is one of my all time favourite sessions and the way that I structure it is always quite similar, it's alright, the way that I structure it is always quite similar so I start with like a heavy activator exercise so or a stretcher exercise so it'll either be like a barbell sumo deadlift, it'll be a barbell mm, sumo squat more so than a squat or a barbell hip thrust for me love the barbell hip thrust. So the barbell hip thrust is going to be first and that's straight away followed by some banded work which is literally going to annihilate your glutes. So that moves straight away into some metabolic stress work, stress work because we're adding that band in there, especially for hip thrusts. We're then moving into barbell tempo squats. Now with barbell tempo squats, they're a little bit different than just doing your standard barbell squat where well, you will go up and down pretty much a second down, maybe a second pause and a second back up. You're doing a 3-1-1 tempo. So this means on the negative, on the way down, you're going to take three seconds. You're then going to pause and then you're going to shoot up. This will basically make the exercise far more harder. It puts a lot more tension onto the quads and to the glutes because obviously you are doing squats. You're not just going to solely hit the glutes because the squats activate your quads more anyway. But because you are doing tempo work and because you are controlling it, you will feel it in your glutes. Your fourth exercise is dumbbell sumo deadlifts. Now, these are more of a dumbbell sumo Romanian deadlift. I just always say sum, sum, sumbell. Sumbell sumo dumbbell deadlift so all you're going to do is adopt a pretty damn wide stance flare your feet out and you hold a dumbbell and it's like you do an rdl but you are bending slightly more at the knees but it's not as full as a sumo deadlift so you'll see in the workout anyway you'll know what i mean this literally activates your glutes and your hamstrings so much and all i want you to think about when you get to the top of the movement rather than arching that back and creating an anterior pelvic tilt which no it's really, really common. I've got a video on my channel anyway. If you do have an arch in your lower back, but when you actually come up, you want to pull through the glutes. And you want to tuck your pelvis under and get a posterior pelvic tilt where you'll actually squeeze your glutes. Again, I'm going to do this for you in the video. So all these things I'm saying, make a mental note or make a note and then watch me do them in the workout. And this is how you will personally get the most out of the session that I'm going to give you. Your fifth exercise is your activator and this is a single leg hip thrust. Now I'm going to do single leg hip thrust with a plate. I don't know why with a dumbbell, I literally find it so uncomfortable. It doesn't bother me that the weight isn't ridiculously heavy. It's not all about that. You've already had some heavy loaded barbell hip thrusts at the start of the workout anyway. Then you've had barbell tempo squats. So in terms of the load, it doesn't really matter. I use like a 15 to 20 kg plate. And then with single leg hip thrusts, and this is what I saw Brett Contreras did. When you actually do the movement, I know with a hip thrust, you keep your chin tucked but it makes it a little bit difficult to reach for hip extension because you are on one leg. And he's done loads of research into this, so you can actually pop your head back a little bit if you feel like you're not getting full range of motion and you're not reaching for hip extension. So at the top of the movement, if you're like in this shape with your hips, stick your head back a little bit. It's not gonna kill you for a single leg hip thrust and it should help. Your final exercise is your finisher and it is a tricep full of activators and then pumper exercises so your activator is your cable kickbacks moving into cable abductions where you're going to ramp up the reps and lower the weight and then you're doing lateral band walks so the last two exercises are your pumper exercises and as we said in video one 
go back and watch it if you haven't. This is where your glutes are gonna fill with metabolites and this is where they get that pumped up balloon style effect. It will make sense if you go back and watch the first video, but I really, really hope you enjoyed this workout. It is the best one that I've done. This is why I'm refilming it for you for YouTube so you obviously you can try it yourself. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then like this video if you enjoy the workout. But without further ado, let's dive into the session. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. session i really hope you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did for more videos on the glutes they are coming i don't even really know how long to do this series for let me know if you guys are enjoying it drop any comments below of things that you struggle with in terms of actually growing your glutes maybe like glute imbalances targeting your glutes glute activation um maybe your quads are more dominant whatever it is pop it below for me let me know. Remember, Tuesdays and Thursdays are YouTube upload days, seven or half seven. But I'm loving you, lady.